This is module three, lesson one, homework, side one. Today's objective was to study <laughs> study the commutative property to find known facts of one, six, seven, eight, and nine. Number one, complete the charts below. A, a tricycle has three wheels. So every time I'm thinking about this, I'm thinking about counting by threes. If I have three tricycles, I want to know how many wheels I have. So I'm going to multiply three times three. Three, six, nine. There are nine wheels on three tricycles. In the next box, I know I have 12 wheels. So in my head, I'm thinking some number times 3 equals 12. Using your multiplication chart that we did in class today will help you with this. 3, 6, 9, 12. Counting by threes, I counted 4 times by threes to get to 12. So 4 tricycles have 12 wheels. Next, I have five tricycles. Again, they have three wheels. So I'm thinking about five times three. Three, six, nine, 12, 15. You should see a pattern starting here with nine, 12, 15, 18. For 18, I'm thinking some number times 3 equals 18. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18. That gives me 6. Last, I have 7 tricycles, each with 3 wheels. Counting by 3's using my fingers. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21. There are 21 wheels on seven tricycles. Letter B, a tiger has four legs. So now I'm thinking about the four legs with each time. First, I see that the total legs is 20. So I wanna think something times four equals 20. I'm using my fingers and counting by fours until I get to 20. 4, 8, 12, 16, 20. That's five fingers showing. So five tigers have 20 legs. Now I see 24 legs. So I'm going to copy the same process and think about something times four equals 24. I already know five times four is 20. So if I add four more to that, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, that will give me 24. I can also count by fours. Four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 24. That's six fingers out. So six tigers have 24 legs. Continuing on, seven tigers. If I look at my pattern, I can see I'm counting by fours. 20, 24. Seven tigers, keep counting up, have 28 legs. Eight tigers have 32 legs. If I keep counting, nine tigers have 36 legs. So what I was thinking is seven times four, eight times four, nine times four. Letter C, now I have a pack of five erasers. So if I have six packs, I'm thinking six times five. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. That gives me 30 erasers. Next, I see I have 35 erasers, so I'm thinking what times 
five gives me 35. Using my fingers, counting by fives. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. That's going to give me seven packs of erasers. Next, I see I have 40 erasers. So again, I'm thinking something times five equals 40. Using my fingers again to count. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. I have eight fingers showing. You should see a pattern happening here with six times five, seven times five, eight times five. Can you guess what comes next when I go to 45? And that would be nine times five. Last, I have 10 packs of erasers. So I'm thinking in my head, 10 times five. 10 times 5 is 50. Number 2. Write and solve two multiplication problem facts for each array. So let's look at the rows. I have 1, 2, 3, 4. There are four rows of, of um, pentagons. Those are pentagons. Then I'm going to look and see how many columns there are. So I'm going to count one, two, three, four, five, six. There are six columns. If I count four, eight, 12, 16, 20, that gives me 24. I'm going to use the commutative property to write a second multiplication sentence. 24 equals 6 times 4. Same thing as the second part, counting the rows. 1, 2, 3. There are three rows. Next, I'm going to count the columns. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There are eight columns. If I label, I can label three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen, 21, and last, 24. 3 times 8 equals 24. Using the commutative property, I can also write 24 equals 8 times 3.